Social Security Investigation Department. How can I help you? Yes, sir. I received a voicemail to call this number about some activity on my Social Security card number. All right. Okay. And yes. can you please help me out, sir, when you received the calls? Like at what time? Oh, gee, it was probably 3.20. I was down sitting on a park bench. Yeah, I was down sitting on a park bench, and I just got home. Okay. I got that, sir. So let me go ahead and pull up your information first. Can you please... Identify your name and your zip code, sir. My name is, first name is Jethro. J-E-T-H-R-O. Mm-hmm. Last name's Tull. T-U-L-L. -L. Jethro Got Tull. Mm-hmm. And your zip code, sir? 13118. All right. So, Mr. Tull, how are you doing today? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. So, just be in the line with me for a moment. Let me go ahead and pull up your information first, okay? Okay. Just stay in the line. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for holding the line. Are we still connected, sir? Yes, we are. All right. Okay. So, I just got your file here on my systems. And I can see here the reasons why we are trying to reach you today is because we have found some suspicious activities happening under your social and your personal information. We have found someone using your information from the state of Texas. So, are you aware about the situation, sir? Someone um, using your no, identity? I'm, I'm in New York. I'm in New York. Yeah, I do understand that, sir. But someone committing crime from the state of Texas. No, I've so been, here, I've been have... here all day. I was drying in the cold sun all day long. I understand. So, do you have Watching any connections really with the state of Texas? Run. I, no, I've never been to Texas. And is there any way you might have lost your ID, your social security card, or any of your confidential details? Yeah, I lost my wallet once, and I, I was feeling like a dead duck, but I, 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 I don't know what happened to it. Okay. How long is that? Like a long time ago, oh, or couple recently? A couple of years, a couple of years. Okay, I got it. So, Mr. Tull, just give me a, like, grab a piece of pen and paper with you and note down my information first. Okay, go ahead. All right, so first of all, please note down my name. Yes. My name is Michael. The last name is Pierce. Okay. And also note down my federal ID number. Uh -huh. My ID number is letter D is in David. D. Letter C is in Charlie. Charlie. Number 14-7456. Okay. And you can also note down our department website. Okay. Our department website, it is O-I-G dot D-C, D as in David, C as okay. in Charlie, okay. dot gov, G-O-V. Okay. So if you want, you can even go online on the website which I gave it to you. You can verify my name and my batch number. That is our official government website. Oh, okay. Right? Yep. And just to make sure you got the right information, can you please repeat the batch number which I gave it to you, sir? DC14-7456. That's right. So you can keep the pen and paper aside. I'm going to go ahead and provide you some important details about this case. So please listen to me very carefully, all right? Okay, okay. And also make sure that this is a recorded line. Whatever you say or comment on this line must be the truth and honest because this recording will be used as a piece of evidence inside the courthouse to prove your innocence, all right? Okay. Perfect. So basically there was an investigation which started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car contained some drugs and blood residues inside it and hence okay. after investigations we have found that the car was rented under your name and personal information and as we move further with investigations we have found that there were two addresses that were linked with the title of the vehicles and the address was in the city uh. of San Antonio, Texas. This address that was okay. raided well, by I, the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately... I don't know anybody in San Antonio. <laughs> I do understand that. Let me complete my part, okay? 
and then I'll let you. Okay, do your part, but I I don't know I don't understand. I'm in New York, and you're talking about Texas here. I'm kind of confused. Right. I'm not saying that you did something wrong, Mr. Toad. Someone is using okay. your identity, and we need to go ahead clear up your name. All right, that's it. Okay. Well, I got I, okay. I got on the bag and warm my feet. So let's go and see what's going on here. Okay. Should I continue? Yeah, continue. Okay. Well, as I told you, there were two addresses that were linked with the title of the vehicles, and the address was in the city of San Antonio, Texas. This address that was raided by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately, we didn't find anyone inside that residence. But we did recover 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some documentation from the financial institute, such as a Chase Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, and Wells Fargo. And this entire paperwork that had your name on it and thousands of dollars who have been wired from this bank account locally and internationally, which seems suspicious to us. So now you can let me know you if because you have... I'm Because I'm in New York, it seems suspicious. It seems okay. suspicious because everything is done with the help of your information. So can you let me know, like, do you have any suspect on your mind, any doubt on someone who can do this activity, sir? Oh, my... I don't know. My neighbor was over here the other day, Molly Hatchet. And I'm wondering if maybe that's when it disappeared. I don't know. Right. And if I fix an appointment for you to your local social security office, will he be able to go there? To Molly Hatchet's house? Yeah. Molly Hatchet lives right down the street. She lives at uh, 97 Main Street. I live at 100. Oh, so okay. She's right down the street, Molly Hatchet. You do drive, right? You can drive if I fix an appointment, right? You're physically all right. Where am I going? Yeah, where am I going? I have to get the car out of the garage. Because I, <laughs> Not keep, right I now. keep it inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will let you know at what time you need to go to your local social security office. All right? We will fix oh, an appointment. Oh, I thought you wanted me to go to Molly Hatchet's house. Okay, no, no, okay. Okay. So basically, can you let me know, like, do you ever lost your ID? You told me you lost something, some information, like a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, yeah, yeah, but that was, he's down what by do the you bag. Lost? I lost, uh, I did lost my wallet. Okay. My whole wallet. It had All everything right. in it. I even had a couple of dollars in it. Okay, I got it. So basically, as we found this information of yours, we also check all your past records. We found that your record was clean and your social has no other complaint in the past. So that is the reason uh, that we are... No, you're right. I don't think anybody's you. ever complained about yep. my social security. Right. That number. is the reason we are considering yeah. you as a low-abiding okay. citizen. All right? I, I am. Yep. But right now, okay. the only major problem we are facing is that Right now, every evidence is under your name. Every illegal well, activity is right. done. Right, is done with the help of your information. And what well, was done we under your fix social? That with, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe we could fix that with Salvation Alamode and a, a cup of tea. I don't know. Huh. So basically, at this moment, we need to go ahead and clear up your name. That is the okay. only reason we are trying to reach you. And if you are willing okay. to cooperate with the government, we will be providing you a procedure for getting a name out of the case, all right? Okay, let's get my name out of the case. Yep. And we also found okay. there are 15 bank accounts and 9 credit cards with this link with your social and your personal information. Some of the major bank accounts that have a balance like fifteen to $20,000 at the label. And as this is a case of money laundering, we've got an order to block all the bank accounts. But before that, we will also make sure that we does not suspend your bank account. So can you let me know in okay. total yeah, out I, of the I 15 don't, banks, I don't, how many banks did you really bank wanna, with? Just the name of the bank? I only bank with one, one bank, one bank. Okay, so what's the name of the bank, sir? Aqua Lung. I don't get it. You say Acro? Aqua Lung. A-Q-U-A-L-U-N-G. Aqua Lung, my okay. friend. And how many accounts do you hold with that? Because I can see there are three accounts. An Aqualung? I, yeah. I only have two, a checking and savings. Okay. 
And after your last injection, do you remember what is the approximate balance in your checking account and your saving account? My last injection of what? I don't know. What is the balance at this moment? That's what I'm asking you. In your checking and your saving account. Approximately. Oh, I probably got, oh, I got 500 in the checking and maybe 1,200 in the savings. Okay, and other than that, do you have any investment accounts or any credit cards under your social turf? No, I got a credit card. I got a visa, but it's full. It's You're full. not using that? It's booked it's up. Close. Booked up. I can't use it. It's booked up, man. I got it. And other than okay. that, is there anything else under your socials? Like house, car, piece of land? No, no. Okay, I got it. I'm a poor old side. Uh -huh. I do understand that, sir. So basically right now, sir, you'll have to be a few things you'll have to keep in mind. The first thing is that you won't be allowed disclosing this information to any third person. Like your friends, your family members, your relative, or whomsoever it is. Till the next 24 okay. hours. Till the next 24 to 24. 48 hours. Okay, mm -hmm. that's when uh, December's faggy freeze uh, should come about. Do you see? Yes, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> what are you talking about, sir? I'm not getting you, Mr. I'm, Cole. I'm, I'm confused. Which part are you getting confused? Oh, well, I don't know how somebody got my social card and doing all this stuff. and You got to uh -huh. know my banking information and stuff. I don't know what it's about. I'm, I understand I'm, that. I'm, I'm, I'm old. I don't understand this. Okay, I do understand that, sir. And before we go ahead and start the procedure, we will be needing one of your photo ID so we can attach it to the documentation and send it to the local social security office so that they can identify that it's your information, sir. So is there any way you can click an image of your photo ID, just the front picture of it, and send it to the number that I provided to you? I don't know. How to do that? I have a flip phone. I don't know. I can't you take just, a picture with it and send it anywhere. Just have a flip phone? Nothing else? No. Okay, I got it. So, as I told you, sir, uh, till the next 24 to 48 hours, you will be allowed disclosing this information to any third persons, all right? Like friends, family members, okay. or any third persons. I don't. I don't have anybody, so there's nobody I could tell, anyways. Yeah, because right now, right now we don't know about the suspect, and we won't be alarming the suspect in any possible way. All right? Okay. Okay. Locomotive breath. Okay. Uh huh. And the second thing is that in order for getting a name out of the case, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and suspend your social security number right away from your name. And we will be getting you a new social security number, which is going to be approximately taking 24 hours for us to do that. So tomorrow, okay. you'll be getting your new social security card from your local social security office. And I'll let you know tomorrow okay. at, at what time you need to go to your local office so that they can provide well, you I, a paperwork. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I think the op I'm not sure where the office is. Is that the one down by the bag? Which one are you talking about? Can you let me know? Social Security Office here in Moravia, New York. Uh, do you know any address? Was this close to you? Oh, no, I don't know what the address of the Social Security is. What city do you leave, sir? Moravia, New York, 13118. Okay, I got it. I have that on my system, so is there any local office okay, close to you? Breath. No, I don't think so. I think I gotta go all the way in the grotten. Okay, I got it. So I'll let you know tomorrow at what time you need to go there, all right? And if you uh, want to get okay, okay. Yeah, you'll have to go yeah. to the Social Security office in Rochester, New York. Oh, Rochester? That's a long ways away. That's a long way. I, it's not close to you. I have. I have to take the locomotive to get there. What about Syracuse? Uh, Syracuse is even. Close. Syracuse is closer. It's closer, so yeah, probably, I can. I, I, I can. I can catch the locomotive there. So I'll have to go ahead and send the information the to. The train won't stop going. No way to slow down. Uh huh. So you'll have to Steam go to federal building. Breaking on his brow. Yep. I'm okay, going to give you the address. Building. Right. Oh, okay. 
I, I think it's right there on uh, uh -huh. on uh, Salinas Street, I think. Yeah. Federal Building, fourth floor, hundred, one hundred South Clinton Street. Was a Syracuse, oh, New York. Okay. Right, Clinton okay, Street. Okay, no way to slow down. Okay. All right. I'll take the train. But, won't stop going. Yeah, but the only major problem we might be facing is that once we go ahead and suspend your social, with your social being suspended, even your bank account will be suspended too. And if your bank account gets suspended, you're going to lose all the money well, that you have in your bank account at this point of time, so, which is not a good thing. Well, that, that's not a good thing. I'd be feeling like a dead duck. <laughs> I do understand that, sir. So basically, okay. um, for that not to happen, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and talk with a few higher authorities about this case. Okay, and I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll try my best for getting your account okay, excluded I'm, I'm, from suspension. Sorry. So you does not okay, face gonna, any punishment. And, and I'm uh, and I'm going to try to steal the handle. Okay, go ahead, talk to yeah. them. And if I tell you to go to your bank, can you go to your bank? Aqualung, yeah, Aqualung Bank, yeah. Do you have there. car? You can drive over there. It's in the garage, because usually I just go down and sit on the park bench, eyeing little girls with bad intent. Do you have car? I can get the car out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. So just be in the line with me for a moment. First of all, let me okay, get a confirmation, okay, okay. all right? Yes. Okay. And I'll let you know what are the next steps. All right? All be right. in the line. Yep. Okay, I'll be here. Okay. And are you alone or are you some third person, sir? Am I alone or a third person? Yeah. We, I don't know you? what that means. I'm only one, I'm only one person. <laughs> You're not understanding. What I'm saying, are you alone or uh, are you with some third person at this moment? I'm alone. I don't have anybody else. Okay, so you have to make sure right now we don't know about the person who is doing this. So you need to well, make sure I, it is not the disclose. only one I suspect. The only one I suspect is Molly Hatchet down the street. Why you suspect that person? She comes up here and drinks my beer, and and she's she, then she just leaves, and I don't I don't think uh, I don't think she's right. I got it. Yes. So stay connected for a moment. Let me get the confirmation. I'll explain to you, all right? Okay. So it may take at least a all minute right. or two, all right? Okay, I'll be here. Okay, perfect. All right, are we still connected, sir? Yes, yes okay. we are. So as soon as I put a request on my system for getting your account excluded, I suddenly get denial because the order for the suspension of your bank account has already released by the courthouse by this morning and they're saying that within very short time even your bank account is going to be suspended too but the good thing uh, is that they have given yes, you okay. they have yeah there's a good the, thing okay the good thing is that they have provided you uh, what's a good thing okay. yeah they have provided you a time frame of yeah. 60 to 90 minutes in which you can go ahead okay. secure all the money which you have in your bank account so you does not face any financial loss so can you let me know but, how are you planning to secure the money? Well, if, uh, I don't know. Old Charlie stole the handle and the train won't stop going. No way to slow down. I don't know what to do. Basically right now, if you just go ahead and withdraw all the money and keep it as cash, it will be considered as money okay. laundering. So uh, that you, you can face legal like consequences for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be like crawling down the corridor and... My hands and knees, I think. I don't so know that's what not to do. that's not a good thing. So, but what you can do no, is that. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You're not even allowed to go ahead, withdraw all the money, and keep it as cash, or you're not allowed to transfer uh. this fund to any of your family member account because that's going to look more suspicious and you can yeah, face legal consequences uh, for that so that's not a good the problem is yeah the problem is i'm feeling all alone and the army's up the road i don't know um see i don't know what to do so uh how far is the bank from you oh it's down by the bag it's not far okay so what you can do is that uh first of all you gotta Go ahead, withdraw the money as cash, and you'll have to go ahead and convert the money into a government electronic vouchers. 
so that you can keep the voucher oh, with you. Right. So you can okay. keep the voucher with you for the next 24 hours. And tomorrow, you got to take the voucher with you to your local Social Security office. You need to hand over and to Clinton them. Clinton Street, yes, and Clinton Street. Right. They'll verify the right. vouchers, it's give you the refund verified. of the money, and also provide you a new Social Security card. All right? Okay. And so, you think this will work out all right for me then? My name will be taken off? Right. And that way we're going to go ahead and clear up okay. your name. So what our plan is that, you know, once we go ahead well, and... Well, I, I, I don't know. I just hear the silence howling, catching angels, angels as they fall. <laughs> Uh -huh. The all-time winner has got him by the balls. Oh, boy, this is bad. I'm not getting you, sir. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm confused. Are you high? I'm old. I'm not high. Hi. <laughs> no, what I'm telling you, if you're talking as if you're high. I hear oh, silent howling. Catches angels as they fall. And the all-time winner has got him by the balls. So, uh, can you start getting ready ah, okay. for to leave for the bank? Leave for the bank, okay. Because we got like 60 got to, to 90 minutes. 60 to 90 minutes, okay. What do you want me to do? Go get the car? No, you need to go to the bank. We need to take them well, out. I gotta the get the car to go to the bank, sir. Uh -huh. So you can start getting ready for yourself? To leave for the okay, bank. Okay, I'm ready. I, I mean, I, I I don't know what I got to do to get ready. I'm sitting here. Okay. Ready do to you go. have your photo I don't know ID? What I got to do? Photo ID, yes, yes, okay. yes. And do you have your driving? Yes. Uh, like you have your debit card with the bank? I got my debit card. Yes. Okay, so you got to do one thing. You got to carry your I photo ID. I don't have my license. I don't have a license. Though. They took my license. Okay. What about? They said I was. They what said I was too old to drive. Uh -huh. <laughs> I do understand that. And they took it. I kept on running into stuff. Running uh -huh. into poles and cars. What is the battery dogs. on your phone? Battery on my phone is a Samsung. So how, like, it's going to last a long? Like, will we are completing this procedure? Because <laughs> we need to be on the line. It'll probably, it'll mm -hmm. probably last longer than me. <laughs> Okay. So what is the battery percentage? That's what I'm asking you. Oh, percentage is uh, 55%. Okay, I guess that can last for a long time. So you can do one thing? Yeah, long, long, uh, long time. Let me know once you start, you know, once you're, once you're about to leave for the bank. Let me know once you're about to leave, all right? I'm going to be on the oh, line okay. with you for the out. whole time. So I got to go out and get the car. Yeah, I, okay, the car. I'm going out and get in the car. Okay. I got to put the phone down to go. The all -time way of Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I'm in the car. Okay. I'm sorry? I, yeah, I said I'm in my car, you told me to tell you. Oh, you're in your car? So do you carry your deb debit card along with your driving license? I got my debit card. Yeah, your photo ID. I have a license. Yeah, I got an ID and I got uh, my all my glasses and all my shoes with me. Okay. So you can. So now what do I do? Yeah, you can start driving toward your bank. All right. Let me know once you reach the okay. parking lot. Okay. I'm here. My car doesn't seem to want to start. I don't know. I haven't driven it in a while. Just give it a try. Okay. I don't think it's going to start. It won't start. Do you have any department oh. store around you, sir? No, I live down by the bag. There's no stores down here. Oh, okay.
Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so just give it a try, all right? Let me know what is the update. Okay, I'll try it again. Start away uneasy. You just won't. What car do you use? Like what car do you? Use? Aqualung, my friend. It's a, it's a 1999 Buick Century. You say New York Century? Buick. Do you mind spelling out? B u i c k. Buick. Oh. What are we gonna do now, scammer? Huh? I'm sorry. Ben Chode. Sorry. What are we gonna do now, Ben Chode? We are not able to take your call right now. Goodbye. You fucker, I hate when they do that. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Yeah, put that idiot Michael Pierce on. Michael Pierce. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's one of the other morons that work with you down there. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, you got drunk? Put the fucking guy on the phone, I said. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Do it, so, stupid. So, do you want to talk to Michael Pierce? Yes, I do. well, yeah. What the, what the fuck? Okay. So, what you want me to do now? I want you to connect me to fucking Michael Pierce, stupid. What do you think I want you to do? Send him a fucking letter? Okay. And what else? Nothing, that's it. Just connect me, stupid. You fucking idiot. Oh, I'm not an idiot. You're the one. Yes, you are. No, I'm not the one. Oh, yes, you are, an idiot. Um, you uh, so you got drunk? You're drunk? I don't give a fuck if you're drunk or not. Put that other fucking asshole on. Michael Pierce, I said. Michael Pierce, put him on the phone. It's me, Michael Pierce. You're Michael Pierce? What do you, change your fucking voice, idiot? Yeah, I can change. What you do, think? Oh, you're a fucking regular genius, aren't you? Yeah. So, uh, wait a minute, I wasted... 35 minutes of your fucking time, you fucking thief. How do you like that? Um, right? Huh? Huh? So you couldn't scam anybody else, you fuckstick. Okay. Thieving piece of shit. Okay. That's what you are, you know. You're a thieving piece of shit. Okay. What else? Do That's all you can say is okay? What else do you, huh? what else do you want to say? I don't want to say, I, I'm just telling you how I feel about you, you scamming bastards. You're fucking no good. You steal money from people, from old people, you fucker. You would have taken mine if I let you. Um... You dumb fuck. Actually, we're not scamming you, okay? What do you mean, actually, you're not scamming me, you fuckers? You're not Social Security, you fucking idiot. Who told you that we are Social Security? No one told you that. You ain't Michael Pierce. Put Michael Pierce on the phone. <laughs> you, how you fucking, how you fucking goats sound alike? I can't tell you apart. How? Um, all right, so, um, go ahead. Go ahead and what, stupid? We are not able to take your call right now. Goodbye. Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yes, yes. You may help me by, uh, I got the call to uh, call this number about my social security number was used illegally. Okay. I believe. Okay. Can you, yes. Can you help me out with your name and your zip code so that I can check information? Jethro Tull. Zip is 13118. What's your first name? Jethro. And when did you receive a call from us? Uh, gee, it was about 3.30, there, uh, sizzle chest. Okay. Okay, now, you know that this kind of information are very important and confidential. So, before I give out the information... So what? Is there somebody that speaks English I can talk to? Yeah, sure, just give me a minute. Okay, good, great. We are not able to take your call right now. Goodbye. Social Security Investigation Department, how can I help you? Yes, who's this, please? 
Is this you, Michael Pierce? No. You scamming son of a bitch? <laughs> huh? Did Is I, it? Did, did I scam you? You tried to, you stupid fucker. This is Jethro Toe. Jethro Aqualung. We are not able to take your call right now. Goodbye.